Okay, so welcome back to part um, three of this one um, video tutorial. It's actually part four because the first one was the introduction, um, but potentially from the actual HTML side of it, this is the third part of it. Okay, so in the last bit, I said I'm going to go off and grab uh, an image to place in here so we don't have to have this horrid um, grey box. Okay, so let's first of all, let's sort this one image out, shall we? Okay, so the image that we're going to have uh, in here um, in the beginning is going to be images, and then we're going to say photo, and I've actually taken the, the default uh, image from YouTube when the, the person doesn't have um, a user profile. Okay, so um, let's we need to go and sort out this user image first of all, all right, to basically sit the right size. Now our outer box was 65 pixels. Now we potentially want to um, add now the user um, image or the user dash image pick um, to the end of it. So we're actually specifically uh, um, changing the styling of this one image itself only with the class of user dash image dash pick and so on. So um, we're going to say then the width is going to be 55 pixels and the height is going to be auto. Now this should sort out any problems. We don't want to really put any um, width and height on the actual image tag itself um, because some of the browsers they don't um, they don't respond to the auto um, side of it. Although with CSS it will uh, the browser will sort out dynamically the height of that one image um, but by, by specifying at least one of the two either height or then um, the width. In this sake we're going to say it's the width of um, 55 and let the browser do the rest. Okay we are going to say then margin um, 5 pixels. By saying 55 gives us 10 pixels um, width spare so it's then gives us space for left and right uh, a margin of 5. Okay so let's now come back to here and now our image sits nicely um, in the middle. Okay so we're kind of happy with that. Now let's add just a uh, border uh, to it and let's just say A1, A1, A1. Let's get rid of the background of this first of all. Okay. Now we might have to reduce down the size um, of it because of the one pixel border. Okay. I mean it looks okay, I don't think we're going to have to mess around with it too much. Okay. Um, still I don't like this yellow background so we're going to get rid of this yellow background and we'll search for a nicer um, background colour later on. Okay, so now we have our comment um, area, um, we have our, our name done and we're going to just change the colour of, of that very very slightly and make a kind of uh, like a kind of Facebooky blue type colour. I think this one should be okay. So we need to change the, the username, um, whatever that was called, it was called the username field which is what we want to change. So username field and the colour we had is blue which we can still continue with blue is fine but now we just change it to a hexadecimal value. So let's refresh. Okay, That looks a little bit nicer so we're keeping now the thing is is with the comments people are so used to seeing um, comments from Facebook, comments from YouTube and so on that you want to kind of uh, this is my own personal opinion, you want to kind of keep it in the same ways because you want people to comment, you want their feedback and if they've seen it so often with YouTube and Facebook then make something that's going to kind of want them to comment alright so it, it isn't copying it's just using the same idea to influence them to comment you want them to comment on your your uh, items okay that's the key thing because it's interaction okay and it updates the page okay Google indexing it updates it updates the page because there's something new on it okay and Google likes that okay so now we have the text in here our comment is pretty much it's pretty much ready to go to be quite honest with you um, so let's just come here and let's copy, let's just zoom out slightly so we can get a copy of it. Let's come here and copy this, get rid of that. And did I leave, yep I left that one there. So let's just zoom back in again, save that and now we've just got two copies of it basically which is cool. Alright that's enough um, for the time being because we want to uh, be able to make an area um, where we can start actually uh, making the comments as such. Um, so let's just first of all place a big old comment in here right in this first one 
just let's just put some break tags after it and let's just copy that in in here a whole bunch of times just to check that someone can make a big comment and it all um, looks perfectly fine so let's just chuck that in there a couple of times okay now come back over to here okay and as you can see we're, we're bumping over to the left hand side as expected this is why I've, I've tested this okay so at the moment the comment text um, it, it kind of it kind of doesn't sit right although the um, the h3 sat over um, the comment text doesn't all right so we need to we need to fix this basically so my idea on, on this um, would then be yeah I mean we're gonna have to uh, potentially have have it floating but we need to we need to push the the text over okay we need to push this box um, this box over um, now we know what the size of um, this one is because we've set we've set it so we're going to say the comment text is going to have a margin and we know the margin um, is from the user pick uh, the pick here which is 65 sorry the width is 65 and it has a margin right of 10 therefore we know that we've got 75 okay so we can say uh, margin right is 75 pixels let's just finish that off with two zeros now let's see what this looks like now okay that's not doing anything because of oh a stupid David what margin right what margin left okay now that bumps it over all right so although we're kind of doing a bit of cheating um, we want we want to know that the, the comment text um, sits properly all right so it's it's a little bit of cheating but it's it's done it, it, it's done okay that's the whole point is it why sit here for three four hours trying to work out a really really clever way to do it when you can just get it done alright and now it's done okay so now we know that the text sits there nicely now we want to worry about the text on the right hand side where does it sit on the right hand side okay now I believe if we just highlight this and press control H and then we're going to say break tag and then we're going to get rid of it replace it all okay so we just use NetBeans to get rid of all those break tags and let's just refresh this now okay so that now the text comes all the way over to the right hand side and we don't want it this far over to the right hand side okay we want to have some some form of margin over here um, to keep it within so let's fix this now now that's the comment text and let's say margin right of 10 pixels all right so we're, we're basically going to make sure the text doesn't sit all the way to the border and now it comes in but now we've got this huge um, this huge area where there's no no text now we, let's try using some um, word wrap sometimes NetBeans doesn't like this one okay let's try this one okay I think that's just the way it's going to be because of comment it is there if we change the text on here for example to com let's see oh that's the third it's the fourth one we want to change so fourth one let's knock this down see what happens with that okay so it's just because the word is just too big um, to sit there I, I don't want to split the words up okay but it now sits in so we know that um, the comment area I is all okay right we could sit around here all day doing this um, okay but the bottom of the the comment text now um, it sits right against the comment holder so we want to add add some um, margin to this as well so we want to say um, comment bottom or oh, the the comment text is has margin of five um, bottom okay just like that that's fine okay so I would even go as far let's just zoom out to see what this text is like I mean the text is very small to be honest with you so uh, I would reduce I would make this text bigger because it's just too small so let's just bump it up to 12 I mean it's still a little bit too small um, so let's bump up the actual username field and let's put that to say uh, 14 and put this then to 13 okay so we're reducing it 
okay that's a bit better now that means that we're going to have to adjust the height of um, our username field so let's just say the username h3 is 30 and let's just bump up the line height to 27 let's have another check okay that pushes it down slightly I'm happier with that and let's put some more margin on this um, comment text on the bottom um, just so the difference um, from the, the bottom of the comment holder to the text uh, looks a little bit nicer okay that's fine this will this will all be fine that will do now now you can read the text a little bit nicer you could go even further um, and have bigger text um, but it will do okay so now we've done this um, we're now we now need to add um, our um, our delete buttons to it um, basically so then that one button is ready we're not going to do any JavaScript yet we're just going to make sure that all the buttons are readily available um, to be used okay so I'm going to leave this one tutorial and the next tutorial is then going to be adding um, the buttons onto it okay alright so I'll see you in the next tutorial